All right, guys, welcome to lecture five, and this is going to be our last uh, lecture within section one. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you how to create macros, which uh, automates uh, certain processes. Then I'm going to show you how to link external files uh, within your Word document. And third, uh, we'll work with how to build blocks, okay, how to work with quick parts and how we can uh, work with or creating reusable content that we uh, produce uh, every single day. So the whole idea of working with all these different advanced features is to make sure that whenever you're working with Microsoft Word 2013 and wherever you work, whatever you do, you want to be able to create and use these features to your benefit. So again, three things we'll look at. Macros, linking external files, and then building blocks. Okay, so let's start with how to create macros and work with macros. Okay, to record a macro, I'll have to go back on my ribbon bar under view. I see an option called macros. Here, I will click on macro and record macro. Once I click on record macro, it asks me for a name. And we're going to create a macro that's going to insert a signature after every letter. To make our life easier so instead of signing the letter or writing sincerely thanking you etc we are just going to create a macro that's going to do it for us so let's take a look so i'm just going to give it a name i'm going to call it signature i can assign the macro to a button on the toolbars or as a keyboard shortcut okay. so i'll just click button i'm going to assign this macro to a button Here's my new macro that's going to be created. I'm going to add this to my custom uh, quick access toolbar, which is on the top left side of the screen. So this toolbar is the quick access toolbar. Okay, so as soon as I click OK, it's going to place an icon up on my quick access toolbar. Okay, so I click OK and notice macro. Now we're not done yet because we have to record everything. So as soon as I hit OK, notice the uh, cursor changes with a little cassette recorder, which means that each step is now being recorded. So let's finish our uh, letter with a create a signature line. So we're going to say thank you for your patronage. Sincerely, John Doe, CEO. And I'm just going to make it bold and italicize. Okay, once we're done with this, we can simply go back and click stop recording, and it will stop the recording. And we've just uh, created a macro. Okay. So let's see if I now wish to bring up my sample letter, just random letter here. And all I have to do is now click here on my macro in my quick access toolbar and notice it inserts the macro for me i can also modify this macro i can go to macros i can click my macro called signature and uh, i believe that was the name that we created I can run it edit it delete it organize it if i'm done with this macro i don't want it i can simply hit delete and it will delete the macro All right, moving on to the second part of this lecture tutorial, which is working with linking files. So, for instance, if you're working with multiple curves, right, you're doing research and you're writing a book or working with your uh, research assignments or whatever, or at your workplace, you need, or writing a manual. Let's say you have multiple documents and each document is a separate chapter. And what you want to do is you want to create a single document, bring all the text from that chapter within the same document. So the, the hard-coded way is to open up all the documents and you copy or you cut from one document and you paste it in a single document and then you do it. What if you have, let's say, 20 chapters? So Word has a, this wonderful, powerful feature called linking external files, which uh, serves a purpose. But let's say I have this, and when I reach uh, this part and next line, what I want to do is I want to link from another document directly. 
The way I would do this is uh, up on the ribbon bar, insert, and under text group, there's a feature called object. Now I'm not going to insert an object. Uh, I'm going to simply choose the text from file option. And once I do that, it brings up a dialog box. So let's say I want to, uh, here's my chapter two, or in, in this particular example, I'm going to link this with the original document that we've been working with. Uh, in various tutorials. And so all I have to do is just highlight document, click insert, and it inserts the text for me. So very simple, very powerful tool, and use it, practice it. And lastly, let's work with building blocks and working with quick parts. Again, uh, just to make sure that we're going to be creating reusable content, right? So we're not hard coding in Word we're actually using these features to our own benefit. So what are uh, what are building blocks? Uh, they're again under the insert ribbon area. Under quick parts is where we can explore, uh, create blocks of formatting content that we can use at all different times. So first let's take a look at uh, the building blocks organizer which displays all these different types of blocks that are already created or built-in templates uh, within Microsoft Word 2013. Building blocks are saved under the templates for, on the Microsoft and building blocks folder. And let me show you that first before we before we get into building blocks where they're actually saved. Okay, so I'm going to close this for now, and I'm going to come back to this. First, let's see where this building block is stored. So I'm going to open up my Explorer. I'm going to go to my templates uh, folder where all these templates are and you've done this in, in previous tutorials. So I have to go to Microsoft folder one level up and here I'm going to locate folder called document building blocks. Okay, double click on that. Uh, double click on 1033 subfolder and I'm left with two folders 14 and 15. So building block templates are stored in folder subfolder called 15. So again, it's all the way to my templates folder under Microsoft, document building blocks, 1033 and 15. Okay, so here's the templates of my building blocks. So I just wanted to show you this so you know exactly where they're located. All right, let's look back to our building blocks. Under quick parts, here's my organizer where I can see all these blocks that are pre-built. Okay, and I have a whole list I can sort the gallery here and I can see for example the photos are all building blocks okay, these are all quick parts blocks all right so let's take a look at how uh, we can work with it notice uh, we cannot create a new building block uh, from the organizer dialog box so let's see how it's done so I'm going to close this for now I'm going to go back up to my quick part option a couple of ways I can do this before I can use this, I need to have some image or anything that I like to use as a quick part. Okay, so for example, and I like to use this as a uh, quick part. Okay, so I'm going to select this. And I'm going to click on quick part, and I'm going to select save selection to quick part gallery. Okay, so what this is going to do is going to add it to the quick part gallery. It brings up this dialog box. All I have to do is type a name. So I'm going to name it original. You can change uh, or select a different gallery. It's just organizing. By default, it's general category. Notice here it saves this particular quick part or building block in in the template file called building blocks. Dotdotx. Uh, we can create store in building block templates, or you can use the default template normal. M, which is the default template. So I'm going to select the normal so it shows up in every single document, this particular quick part called original. My three options the way I want this quick part to display or this block to display is as follows. First is insert content only, which means that it's going to insert just this highlighted part wherever my cursor is within the document. Insert content in its own paragraph which means it's going to enter a new paragraph and insert the content. And third, insert content in its own page, which means that 
whenever I use this building block, it's going to insert this content in a new page. Okay, so it's going to add some section breaks and it's going to create a new page. So I'm going to choose insert content only because I'm going to reuse this particular all the time within my documents. So once I've uh, selected the options of creating a new building block, and it's going to save this building block in my quick parts area. Okay. Now to see this building block, I can go to my building block organizer where this building block is, and I named it original. Okay, it shows me the preview also. You can edit the properties, which brings me back to the same dialog box that I earlier used to create this. Okay. And I can reuse this whatever I want. I can create a building block. Okay, so I hope this shows you how to uh, speed up your work by creating chunks of contents, images, documents that you reuse every single time. So it's much faster this way. Okay, uh, and this is done through Quick Parts using Building Block Organizer or Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. I'm going to show you some feature called the Auto Text, which is uh, really nice because it gives you shortcuts while you're working within your documents to create certain you know elements in certain images or whatever and you can do that by so for example I have this uh, but I don't want this part to be my auto signature okay so the the process is the same I'm just gonna highlight the text I'm gonna go up to my quick parts it'll ask me to save selection okay? so it's just a short way of, of doing it and it's the same thing notice this dialog box is exactly the same as creating a new building block so whether you're using auto text function or the quick part while creating building blocks it's the same thing okay so I'm going to create this building block I'm going to call this signature okay I'm going to save it in the gallery called auto text general leave options as is it asks me do you want to redefine the building block entry I'm going to say no because I'm going to keep my existing one I'm going to call this just sig okay I'm going to shorten it so click OK and it creates one for me. So a couple of lines down, if I'm typing and I need to insert this block, uh, once type SIG and the F3 function, it's going to insert that block for you. Okay, so the shortcut to remember here is your F3 key, function 3 key within Word 2013. Okay, so it's going to insert the building block for you. We took a look at how to create macros, how to link documents. Uh, we also took a look at how to create building blocks, modify them, delete them, quick parts. So you're comfortable with some of the advanced features within quick parts okay, and linking objects and linking files.